play action. Francois, end zone, climbing the ladder and hauling it in. Auden Tate. Coming into year two as the Florida State signal caller, what improvements have you made to your game over this offseason? Um, you know, just honing in on my protections. Um, I feel like if I can get that, then I can focus on defensive leverages or three techniques or leverages as a safety. Making sure I get all my blitz calls, my hot calls, and getting the ball out faster so that way I won't get hit. It's just the offense as a whole. Um, and it just took too many sacks. You know, some plays, it may be a receiver going too deep on the route, which caused me to hold the ball longer. Um, it might be me holding the ball too long, and it might just be simply the O-line, um, you know, not playing up to par. And we're really improving on that. Now, last year, you had a big-time running back in Dalvin Cook, arguably the best ever at Florida State. This year, you got Cam Akers and Jaquez Patrick back there running the rock for you. What are those guys going to bring to the table? You know, Jaquez is more of a bruiser guy. Um, you know, three-down back, he can play. He can line up in the slot, and so can uh, Cam Akers. So it's a different variety of backs that we have, and um, it'll be exciting to see who thrives. Now, as a quarterback looking at the Alabama defense, we know that's the first game out of the box for you guys. What do you see right now in that defense that you feel like is vital for you guys to do to have success? Take care of the ball. Um, and on my part, is just decision making and accuracy. We're going to have to fight through adversity. Everything is not going to be perfect. I mean, uh, we understand that as a team, but we're going to try to get close to perfect, and that's the way you beat Bama. How far can you take this offense this year? To the farthest, uh, and that's the plan.